It's just a slight. Hello, and welcome to another installment of If I Owned the Company. This week on If I Owned the Company, if I owned those cruddy little flower stands on the side of the freeway. You know, if I owned the flower stands on the side of the freeway, I'd probably go to a dark closet and hang myself, realizing that my life was worth nothing more than a bucket of spit. I'd have naked girls selling the flowers. Cause them people probably buy a lot more. If I owned a flower stand on the side of the road, I'd probably move my flower stand into the middle of the road. That way I'd get figure a little more people would probably stop. If I owned a flower stand on the side of the road, I'd sell Ninja Turtles paraphernalia and vanilla ice t-shirts. Cause they're way more popular than flowers. This has been If I Owned the Company. Next week on If I Owned the Company, If I Owned Hewlett Packard. Hello, racing fans, and welcome to the AMC 500. Wait, 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 wait. We, we can't drive that far. Five. AMC 5. I mean, welcome to the AMC 5, today's big race here at the Eugene Speedway between the Gremlin with Dan Keel at the wheel, the Concorde with Jared Hume, and the Hornet with the wily veteran Tad Van Cleave at the stick. Alright, the race is about to get, begin, I see our pace person entering the track now. Take it away, Chuck! Thanks, Bryce. As you mentioned, here comes the pace person. Looks like it's Abe Hepner this time. Here come the cars. They're looking good today. This should be a good AMC 5. Thank you. 
Is the pace jogger ready? Then go! Go! And so the race has begun here at the Eugene Speedway. here at the Eugene Speedway. Looks like we're in for one dilly of a race. And joining me is Abe Hepner, our pace runner for today. Abe, how's the track? It's a perfect day for racing. The track is fast and hot. All right, that's just the way we like it here at the Eugene Speedway for the AMC 5. And now, let's get to the action. <laughs> Speedway, and it's a beautiful day for a race and for using the toilet. How's the toilet, Abe? Hunting fast, Bryce. Hunting fast. That's just the way we like it here at the Bucks Toilet on the Eugene Speedway. Hunting fast. It looks like Keel and the Gremlin has had an accident. Let's go out to the. Uh, on track camera and have a look and see what's going on. Let's see if he's hurt. Whoa, it's an 
another tragedy at the racetrack. Jerry Hume has no pit crew. He's going to have to do it himself. It's more drama, more tragedy at the Eugene Speedway. Let's look in. I need to change my tire. Jared Hume has got his car fixed and he's back on the track. I'm going to attempt to do an in-car interview with Mr. Van Cleve in his Hornet. Here he comes now. <laughs> Mr. Van Cleve! Hey, hey! How's the race going? Hey, what the hell are you doing on my car? I'm interviewing you. It's me, Price Eggman. What do you want? How's the track feel today? It's hot fast. Now get the fuck off my car. All right. Whoa. It looks as if Dan Keel and the Gremlin is coming in for a pit stop. Let's go down to our on-track cam and see what's going on. Get up, Dan. Come on, come on. Come on, Dan. Get out, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. In the bathroom. Come on. Push. Wait. Wait. Shit. Speedway. Once again, it is a three-way tie. Well, Bryce, I guess that just goes to prove that all MCs are the exact same piles of shit. That's no right. No AMC is any better than any other AMC. No. Everything is equal when it comes to shit. Well, thanks for joining us. See you next week here at the Eugene Speedway. Hello, my name is Tad Van Cleef, and I'm a professional race car driver, and I race with only flag motor oil. It's the official motor oil of the AMC Pro-Am Tour. And of course, it's the only oil that I put in my baby, this classic AMC Hornet. That's right, Tad. My name is Jared Hume, co-championship winner of the AMC 500. Dan Keel and I both use flag motor oil because it's the, only, it's the only oil that will sponsor pieces of shit like AMC. And of course, we drink Pepsi, because we drive AMC. Flag keeps our cars cool, Pepsi keeps us cool.
And now for another installment of the Sleazy Actors Guild. Well, it looks like we're done with this stack. Does anyone have any more ideas of what we can do? Actually, Mark, I got a couple ideas of my own. Like what, Tad? Uh, check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lamp without a light bulb. I'm going to plug it in, and then I'm going to stick the light source up my rectum. Now, oh, granted, oh, 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 granted, oh, oh, oh. granted, that's not something I was doing my everyday life. But since it's on film, I guess it's okay. That's right. Good idea. Let's do it. How about you, Mark? Yeah, I've got an idea. I'm going to be the nutty clown who finds to be really hot and can't keep his clothes on. And Jared's going to be my playful assistant. Oh. And we're going to make some weird blue dots. Ooh. Normally, I wouldn't do something this dirty. But if it'll make the kitties laugh, I guess it's okay. That's right. Sounds good. Well, come to think of it, that reminds me of a skit idea Abe had. What is it, Abe? Well, I was gonna pull Ted's pants down, bend him over, and poke his bare ass with this trident. Woo! Ooh. Gee, ooh. Geez, Abe, is that something that you and Ted do regularly? Oh, oh yeah. no, but since we're actors, it's okay. You know, normally that I would just hurt like hell. But since I'm in character, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I feel sorry for that poor little chap you're playing. Oh, oh boy. boy. You Woo. settled down about oh. him, bro. You know, I like being an actor because I can do all those things that I wouldn't normally do. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But since we're actors, it's okay. <laughs> you know, that skit reminds me of my own idea. Would you uh, like to hear it? Yeah. yeah. Stripping totally naked, putting these horns on my head, masturbating, and yelling, Ram me, ram me, ram me, baby! Whoa! Whoa. Sounds pretty flashy! I a little sleazy there, Jerry. But after all, I am an actor, so uh, it's okay. okay! Here, here! Well, you know, you know there, Jared, I feel really sorry for that character of yours. He's gonna look like a real fool! Yeah, I would say he's a bit of a sleazeball myself. Lucky it's not oh, you. Lucky I, it's your character. I wouldn't sit next to a man who'd do that normally. I count my blessing, I'm an actor. So and it's okay. <coughs> wait, wait, is that all the ideas we can come up with? Well, 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 I had one more, but it's going to require a combined effort. Let's Ooh, hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, it's going to require... All of us to step a little bit out of our ordinary lives and strip down naked and form the human train. Oh, no hey, whoa, whoa, I have a line. There's no way I'm going to do that. But hey, it's not you. It's your character. And it's for art. And it's for the show. So it's okay. I love being an actor. Me too. It justifies our every perversion. And I have one more idea. Oh, oh boy. boy! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the corner and I'm gonna buy some crack for everybody. And then we're gonna smoke the crack down and have a real good time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Won't that be addicting? Yeah. It, it won't be us that gets addicted. It'll be our characters. Oh! oh I feel it. sorry for those crackhead characters that we're gonna be playing. That's More junkies in Hollywood. <laughs> When my physician first diagnosed my bladder control problem, I thought it would be a serious infringement on my social life. But now that I've discovered Depends undergarments, I have found an entirely new outlook on my social life. You know, my bladder control problems have caused me a great deal of embarrassment. You know, I used to be afraid to speak in public, afraid of what accidents might occur. But now, Thanks to Depends bladder control undergarments, I am the senator from North Carolina. Yeah, when I first found out about my bladder control problem, I thought my basketball days were over. But thanks to Depends undergarment, I'm only doing my dribbling on the court now. All 
Alright! I just beat Dan's high score. He's gonna be pissed, but I won't. Thanks to Depends. Mr. Speaker, for the record, there are no accidents in tobacco factories. And there's none in my pants either. Thank you, Depends. Depends and I are an all-pro team. Depends undergarments because when people depend on you, you can depend on us. Okay, Bryce, here's your dinner. Meatloaf. Oh, no. Not meatloaf again. What's wrong with meatloaf? I just don't like it. Now, come on, Bryce. You like hamburger, right? Yeah. And you like tomatoes. Yeah. And you like bread. Yeah. So why don't you like them when they're all mixed together? I don't know. I can't argue with your logic. But I'd really just like something else. Just this once. Please? Welcome to the strange world of logic, boy. Strange visitor from Springfield. No one knows anything about his origins, or why his incredibly skewed ideas are always backed up by irrefutable logic. We may not be able to understand Logic Boy, but we must accept him. This is Logic Boy. Well, even though I don't understand why you don't like meatloaf, I guess I'll make you something else. What's that, Logic Boy? I'll make you my peanut butter cheese corn. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Well, wait a minute. You like peanut butter. Yeah. You like cheese. That's true. And you like corn. Can't argue with that. So why won't you like peanut butter cheese corn? I don't, I can't argue with your logic, logic boy. I, I guess I'll have to eat it. Even though I'll probably hate it. You're incredible. Hey! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Hey! Hey! I'm trying to read here, Logic Boy. What's the big idea? Wait. You like to read, right? Yeah. And you like karate fighting, don't you? Yeah, I like karate fighting. Then why don't you like to read and karate fight at the same time? Uh, I don't know. I I can't argue with your logic. Uh, okay. Hey Bryce, how about a quick game of Nintendo? No thanks, Logic Boy, I'm lifting weights. Well, wait a minute. You like to lift weights, right? Yeah. And you like Nintendo. I love Nintendo. What's wrong with playing Nintendo while you lift weights? Uh, uh, I guess I could. All right. <laughs> hey, Bryce, how's it going? Oh, fine, Logic Boy. I uh, bought you this stocking. It's a little gift. Why don't you oh. wear it today? No, thank you. Wait a minute. You like sexy stockings, don't you? Of course. And you like to wear clothes in public, don't you? Yeah. So what's wrong with wearing this sexy stocking in public? <laughs> you got me again, Logic Boy. Now, normally Bryce is a pretty clean-cut guy. And he has absolutely no desire to wear a sexy nylon. But his character does. And since he's an actor, that makes it okay. Logic Boy has humiliated me one too many times. How can I stop him? Wait a minute. I know. Hey, Logic Boy. Yes? Uh, it's important to eat things, isn't it? Well, of course it is. And, uh, electricity is important too, isn't it? Well, uh, yes, I'd have to say so. So, wouldn't it be important for you to eat electricity? Uh, well, uh, hmm. I guess you're right.
Okay, son. I've took this little break in between rounds to just reassure you that I think that you're the the best competitor in this spelling bee. And even though I'm I'm your dad and all, and I'm running it, I'm I'm not gonna go easy on you. Okay, Pa. Uh, you know, but I am I'm pretty sure you're gonna win. I'm almost positive. Thanks, Pa. All right, let's go in there and take those guys out. Hello, and welcome to the final round of the National Spelling Bee. Okay, we are down to our last two contestants. Billy on my left and Joey on my right. I will give a word. You will stand up and correctly spell that word. The first person to misspell a word loses. All right, we will start with Billy. Your word is... Hex. Uh, H... E... X? Correct! Alright, Joey. Your first word is... <laughs> T-H-H-P-H-T T-H-P-H-T-T-H-P-T Correct. All right, Billy. Your next word is airplane. Airplane. B X L. No, wait, wait. A I R P L A N E. Airplane. Correct. All right, Joey. Your next word is. Incorrect. 
Joey is our winner. <laughs> The moral of this story is, crime does not pay. This is the end, beautiful friend.